Hello, my wonderful Aquarius people. I hope you're doing fabulous today. Thank you for being here. Let's get right into your reading, Aquarius. Let's see if you are here, you're meant to be. So let's find out why. Let's find out what you need to know. I haven't decided yet. I might do two different readings or two different spreads in this video. So stick around and find out. You might have two messages here. <laughs> All right, so first reading. Okay, the first three cards are gonna be the overall vibe. We have the King of Cups, water sign energy. We also have the King of Wands, fire sign energy. Oh, and I grabbed two cards. We have Elephant and we have Harmony. Okay. On the bottom here, we have the Three of Wands. So it looks like you have two different people in your energy. I'm gonna go through, clarify each of these, but it's like one is like the obvious choice but you're still like tempted for another one or toward another one. Um, and also anything I say, you can always flip the roles, you know? Um, but anyway, let's look at this King of Cups. Who is this? What is this? We have the Knight of Cups, okay. <clears throat> I'm feeling like whoever this King of Cups, I mean, it could be male or female. I know it's a king on the card, but male or female, whatever fits your situation. Um, I feel like whoever is the King of Cups energy here, they're a bit more in touch with their emotions, their soft side, their heart. And I'm feeling like crush energy here. I don't know if it's you who has the crush on them or them who has the crush on you, but there's there's a crush. It's a new crush. There's a, somebody's intrigued. That's, that's the word that just came to mind. Somebody is intrigued. All right, so what else with this King of Cups? We have the Five of Swords. Okay, we have open up with the five of swords and the hanged man, Pisces energy. It's like with this five of swords, I'm just getting at this feeling of them almost putting themselves in their place. I don't even know how to describe this energy. It's like, are you going to fess up? Are you going to do what you need to do? Or are you still just going to keep hanging around, you know? I think it's time to open up here. Let's get more information on it. We have the Eight of Wands. We have friends. So this could be somebody, it looks like you're either already in communication with them or you're about to be. Uh, they might be about to spill the beans, you know, with that Five of Swords, what I was just describing. It's like them feeling like... <sighs> Putting themselves in check. I, I don't know. It's like this feeling of them putting themselves in their place. Like, why are you just hanging around, not saying anything when you feel this connection toward Aquarius? You know what I'm saying? So, um, but it's like they're tired of hanging around. They're tired of sleeping on this feeling. And it looks like they're about to communicate with you if they're not already. And they might be connected to your friend group. They may be a friend. Um, they could be a friend who has developed feelings for you we have memories yeah i'm thinking it's somebody that you've been friends with three of pentacles there's yeah it's somebody that you've you've been friends with maybe even work with maybe it's like a work friend but if you're not like directly friends with them i feel like they are connected to your friend group or your uh, some other friend in some way or maybe even a co-worker okay so what else about this person we have guided. They're gu they're feeling pulled toward you. I will say that. There's this feeling of being pulled toward you. And again, that that I keep wanting to go back to that five of swords. There's this feeling of them putting themselves in check or like keeping themselves in check. I don't know why I keep wanting to say that. Why do I keep saying that? Actually, I'm going to shuffle more. We have the Knight of Wands because they have a lot of attraction toward you and they don't want to come off the wrong way. Okay, that's the problem here. They have to keep themselves in check because they don't want to come on too strong. They don't want to come on too hot and push you away and make you think that it's all just about sex with them or, you know, something along those lines. But it is somebody that you're connected to in some way. It could even be like an acquaintance, acquaintance of yours. You know, maybe you're not like close friends or anything, but you're, there's somebody that you've had some like conversations with here and there, but there's somebody who really likes you. And again, the, this person is more sensitive than this King of Wands energy, you know, 
Speaking of the King of Wands energy, who is this? Okay, let me just grab that. It's transformation. Okay, so transformation with the King of Wands. What else? We have Five of Cups. Okay, so I'm thinking this is somebody from your past who wants to come back in, maybe a bit depressed, thinking about you, what you used to have. Also, I hope I don't have any microphone issues today. I know I got a couple comments about some issues going on with my mic. I don't know what it was, so I don't know. I tested it before starting this video, so I hope it's all good now. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, what else? With Five of Cups, we have Ace of Wands. So somebody wants to come in. This is somebody from your past, like 100%, um, who's stuck on you, hasn't been able to move on, who's still attracted to you. Um, and it's like they want some kind of new beginning. What's with this transformation card? Fear. What else with transformation? Stuck. Ten of Swords. <sighs> transformation, fear, stuck, Ten of Swords. It's like they know that... They know that there's no chance. I feel like they know that there's no chance, but they're hoping with that transformation card that they can somehow change your mind. And I think the reason why this person's coming up with this person, I think they're coming in around the same time, or at least, I mean, even if one doesn't come in or whatever, this is at where the energy's sitting right now. So both of these people are thinking about you um, and you'll know who they are most likely. So, but yeah, this person, they want to change your mind. They want to be able to come back into your life. But they know that they fucked up in some way. Whatever they did, they know. They understand. So what else? We have Seven of Pentacles. Dreaming, wishing, hoping, Two of Swords. I'm just getting a feeling of just not being able to let you go. What else? We have the Three of Swords, yeah. It's like it's hard to ignore like three swords just stabbing you in the heart like that um and it's not that i feel like you hurt them it's that they know that this is done and over with there's no way they can go back there's no way they can change your mind at least that's how they feel you know whether you feel that you want another chance with this person or not on their side they feel like there's no chance that you're you would never take them back okay but know that they're still attracted to you they they want to reignite something here Okay, what else about this King of Wands? We have the Three of Cups. They might see you moving on. We have Page of Swords. What did I just say? They might be seeing you moving on, having fun without them, going on with your life. Everything's fine. They can tell that you're doing all right without them. And that's another thing. They might see that you seem happier living your life without them. And that's something that's like keeping them from approaching you, from reaching out because you're, they're like, damn, I really did like make Aquarius miserable. I have no chance. Okay, anything else about this King of Wands? We have judgment, yeah, they wanna come back in, reconciliation. I mean, you might hear from them. I, I, I am getting like strong communication off that judgment card. Um, and you know, what, what you do with that is your choice. But we are gonna look at the elephant in harmony with the elephant, it's like the elephant in the room, something just really obvious. So I think this is kind of saying the obvious choice here is, you know, I mean, it's obvious to you what the choice is. Maybe it's obvious to you to take this person back. Maybe, you know, you really wanna try again. You don't really feel the connection with this King of Cups energy very much. Um, but then for some of you, it could be obvious to take the King of Cups over the King of Wands. You know, I think that's probably going to be the majority of you, but let's look. Let's see what the elephant is. What's going to bring you more peace here? I mean, maybe there's somebody completely different coming in who's a way better choice than either of these people. So let's take a look. We have the Four of Wands. Okay. Connection, marriage, strength, Leo energy. Okay. What else? We have mask. So why is mask here? We have the four of pentacles and we have the ace of pentacles. So there is, I, I'm 
connecting the mask with the King of Cups here. Because I do feel, remember as I said, that there's this feeling of like not wanting to come off a certain way. It's like they're they're being a little bit too rigid in their approach. Like they're not being their full self because they're afraid that if they're their full self, they might scare you away or something like that. But there is a, a stable beginning here. There's just this kind of fear in this energy, wanting to hold back a little bit. Um, but what is this aspect? Why do they want to hold this back? Are they hiding something? We have death, Scorpio energy. We have the six of cups. Yeah, they don't want to... Like I said, for some of you, you might be connected to them. They might be a friend. They might be connected to a friend. Um, they might be an acquaint acquaintance, a co-worker. But it's like they don't want to ruin that connection by opening up and expressing these deeper feelings. Okay, but there is a connection here with that four of wands. How do you feel about this person? We have the knight of pentacles. What else? We have infinite. Okay. And we have fortune. Okay. I mean, I feel I think you feel a connection with them. I feel like you may have been feeling a connection with them for some time with that knight of pentacles. Again, this could be just a friendship, somebody that you've been connected to for a while. You've had some kind of path or journey with them in your life in some way. With fortune card, it could be, you know, you work with them. See, there's money there, um, but not all of you, obviously. But also with fortune, you could feel like just lucky to know them. You, sh you could feel like um, you just feel lucky that they like you. Do <laughs> you feel lucky that they're a friend? You just feel good about having them in your life. This is just a nice person, a nice connection. And infinite, this makes me think of a soul connection. I just think of, you know, you feel like you feel comfortable with this person. Like this isn't your first rodeo with this person. You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay, what else? We have the moon, Pisces, Cancer, and Seven of Cups. I don't know, I'm kind of getting on both parts. You kind of like tiptoe around the fact that you have feelings about each other. You kind of put on this facade like, you know, everything's cool. We're all professionals here. You know, we're all just friends here. Um, but it's deeper than that. You guys feel it. And I think that could be the elephant in the room here. You guys feel it. There's just this need to go for it. Do something about it. Okay. What else does Aquarius need to know about that? We have wasting time, <laughs> procrastination, page of pentacles, power. This is a strong connection. It's just that, again, there's like this beating around this book, uh, beating around this bush, beating around the bush, uh, this kind of tiptoeing around your feelings for each other. But there is a powerful connection here. It's, it's the elephant in the room. There's no denying it. This page of pentacles, I'm almost getting like a playing dumb kind of feeling off this page of pentacles. It's like, yeah, it's just this playing dumb. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is both parts, just their side, your side. I mean, that could also be this mask here. You know, maybe so, maybe this person has denied having feelings for you, but it's just so obvious. Or maybe you've denied having feelings for them, but it's just so obvious. All right, so is there anything else Aquarius needs to know about either of these people or anything else at all? We have the Nine of Wands. We have Foundation. We have Bang Bang. Okay, so Bang Bang is an excitement card, a, um, a, like a, coming in loud, like making noise. And I kind of feel like that bang bang card might be associated with this king of wands energy. They want to come in, they want to make some noise, they want to, you know, recon reconcile with you because they haven't given up on you. Um, but I feel like with that foundation card, I feel like your foundation, your new like beginning is somewhere else. Like you're going to build something with someone else or somewhere else. I mean, you may even just build it yourself. Um, something I always think of whenever I pull this Nine of Wands, it's see how it's a, a princess in a tower waiting for her prince, or it could be a prince waiting for his princess <laughs> um, to save her from the tower. But it's like, 
you can save yourself, you know? You can save yourself out of this tower. Claim this whole damn castle, okay? You don't have to pick either of these people, you know? You can just work on you. Um, you don't have to take back this past person just hoping that it's going to be different this time because it was totally different the first 10 times, right? You know? <laughs> okay, so anything else for Aquarius? We have electric. Follow that electricity, okay? That passion, that spark. That's gonna. That's always going to lead you right, whether it's to choose yourself right now or to choose one of these people or somebody completely different, okay? But there is an undeniable connection with this King of Cups energy, okay? Could be a water sign, doesn't have to be, but it's just somebody who's very much in tune with their emotions. Whether they're male or female, I feel like they are definitely connected with their divine feminine energy. Um... But yeah, that is the first message here, Aquarius. Let's get into a quick second message. Just anything else you might need to know. Okay. All right, Aquarius. Second message for Aquarius. Anything else for Aquarius? This card looks like it wants out. We have the star. We got you. We got your energy, Aquarius. Okay. What else? We have the fool. Aries energy. And we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, I want to pull on that Seven of Swords first. Why is that here? We have Power. Seven of Cups. Okay, so there's... Somebody here isn't realizing the strength and power that they have. It's like you're hiding away. Like you're hiding away that aspect of yourself. I don't want to say it's self-sabotage. What is this? Page of Pentacles, spying. It's like you're feeling, there's a new beginning, right? That wants to start for you, the Fool card, the star. There's something new, something big coming in. But it's like, I'm not ready. I know, even though I have all the information that I need, I mean, I, I don't wanna say you have all the information. I mean, we're, we're always learning. You can be a pro at something and still learn something new every day. Um, but it's like you feel like you don't have enough information, that you're not ready, that you need to, you know, you need to take a time out still, you need to you need to figure things out. But it's like, no, the universe is saying, go for it. You're more than ready. You're just trying to sneak away from this opportunity. You're trying to talk yourself out of something here. You are ready. That is the illusion here, the seven of cups. We have revive. And we have guided. So this could be, with that Revive card, for some of you, this could be some kind of passion idea. You know, it could even be a relationship that's trying to be revived here. But it's something in you, it's like, you want to go for it, but then your brain is trying to talk you out of it. That is your insecurities, that is your, that's not your soul, that's your soul, your heart is guiding you. The universe is guiding you, okay? You have the power, it's all in your hands. It's just a matter of going for it, reaching for it. You know, whenever a new opportunity pops up, go for it. Why not? You know, even if it doesn't really work out the way you think it might or you, the way you want it to, it's still a learning experience and it's still going to get you to where you want to go in life. You know, um, sometimes I think we have a certain idea of what our path should lo look like and what every step needs to be. But then the universe has a better view of the bigger picture here and what's best for you and what kind of tools you need to gain on your journey to get to where you want to go. All right. Does that make sense? Okay. So the fool, what is this new beginning? Open up. Yeah. Go for it. So whoever is like doubting themselves right now, this could be like, you know, a new career field you want to go into a business you want to open up. It could be anything. If there's something urging you, there's some kind of nudge inside of you, it's like, go for it, Aquarius, do it. But then you're trying to talk yourself out of it, like, no, I'm not ready, I'm not good enough. Go for it. This is your sign to go for it, Aquarius, because you're worth it. You're more than ready. We have sadness. You're feeling like you're not good enough. We have the Ace of Cups. We have hate. Why is hate here? This better not be self-hate. We have the Five of Swords. Self-doubt, talking down to yourself. King of Wands. 
needing to step into the king of wands energy the devil capricorn energy i think this is all surrounded around you whoever i'm connecting to here it's somebody who's talking down about yourself a little bit of self-loathing here feeling like you're not good enough that you're not ready you're not smart enough you're 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 too this you're too that you're not enough of that this not enough of that will you just stop it already stop it. <laughs> there, there's seriously something lining up for you it, you're guided to it. You have these these wishes, these urges, these desires for a reason. They're there for a reason, Aquarius. Don't waste it. You're only you, the the version of you right now. You're only you once. I mean, I believe in reincarnation, <laughs> but you're supposed to experience certain things in this life. And those desires, those interests are there for a reason. Why not try it out? Like I said, even if it doesn't work out the way you hope, there's still something there for you to gain, okay? So let's look at the star. We have the three of wands. Stop sitting and waiting. Go for it. Eight of wands. Go for it. Something's coming in. Something's coming in and the, your first reaction is going to try and talk you out of it. You're going to try, try and talk yourself out of it. Don't. Go for it. This is something that you've been wanting. It might seem kind of scary because sometimes whenever you're you, you're wanting something and you finally get it, it's just right there for you to grab it. A lot of times, a lot of people, they self-sabotage, they talk themselves out of it because they feel like they're not good enough, that they're not ready, you know, whatever. There's like a million excuses that you could use. But don't do that because this is for you. This is being guided to you. And with this revive card, I'm also getting a, a feeling of like this being like part of your purpose something that you're kind of remembering your soul is remembering in this life okay we have the four of swords pay attention to your dreams judgment you're being called to do something here i don't know this is directed to your purpose something in your soul that you're supposed to be doing don't shy away from it you're being called now's the time it's coming in soon pay attention to your dreams maybe meditate calm your mind we have the Knight of Wands coming in soon. We have Justice, Libra Energy, Karma. This is something you're supposed to be doing. Unfinished business. And remember, I mean, perfect card to be on the bottom right now. Badass. You are a badass, Aquarius. Go for it. You're ready. You're being called to do something. Something higher than you is trying to push you into a direction. And it's all in your hands. It's all... And your power here all in your control whether you go for it or not i don't know what it is it's going to be different for everybody because we all have different desires and interests and things like that but it is directed to your purpose so whatever you feel deep down i really want to do this i would love to be able to do this why not try it because you might find that you're feeling that more and more and more lately because you're being called to go for it Okay, so go for it, Aquarius. Why not? What, what could you possibly lose? Okay. All right, so these are your messages today, Aquarius. If either of those resonated, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.